Hi. I know it's been a while. Um, a lot has changed in the last two years. We bought a home. We had a little baby girl last fall. So it's been very busy and crazy. So <laughs> I'm back. Hey. Um, so while she's napping, I guess I will do a little quick spiel. So when my daughter was born, I was interested in starting to do home health. So I do that now. I'm per diem home health and I per diem at sniff still. Um, just keep my skills up in both areas. So this video, I'll just talk about the difference between the two settings, pros and cons, all that fun stuff. So we'll start with the sniff setting. So with the sniff setting, um, and of course, with all the Medicare changes coming this October, we'll see what happens. But currently, <laughs> so SNP setting, um, the pros I feel are um, job security, kind of. Um, like they they always need help, no matter what. They always need per diem help. You know, there's always some kind of job opportunity um, in the SNP setting, and. Another thing is documentation, that's huge. Documentation, it's all done there, right at work. You go in, do your job, and you leave, and that's it. There's not really much to it. Um, what else? I might flip flop between pros and cons, so pardon me. Um, for cons, I would say productivity is huge. Um, I know that's been an issue forever. Um, and it's hard. It's so hard to be super productive, make whoever company you work for happy, and you know keep your job, um, as well as keep with your license, keep up with your license legally and ethically, um, and make sure it's you know all about the patient. So that's one thing. Um, and of course, you know sometimes it can be kind of cookie cutter in the sniff setting. Um, with treatment plans and such, you know, you go in, do your ADLs, um, your strengthening, your balance. Um, so it's pretty, pretty straightforward almost. Um, but of course it gets tough. That's part of the, the cons too. It gets really tough and it's draining, very draining. I mean, I was doing full time in a sniff for two years before I cut down to per diem. I was just, I was just done. Like after a while, like I just couldn't do it for me personally and I was commuting almost an hour um so I had to do what was best for my family and for my sanity too <laughs> and of course I do miss it a lot because it was you know consistent and you know financially stable but I had to do what I had to do but thankfully they always need per diem staff so that's nice um so for home health um so I'm still fairly new to it um as I've been doing it since the winter but I would say the pros of it is flexibility for sure. Um, you know, you make your own schedule. And for me, because I'm per diem, I can take as many patients as I'd like, um, as many visits as I like in a week, which is nice. I mean, I try to build up my caseload because it's my main source of income, more so with the SNF setting. But I like how I can make my schedule and I can, you know, squeeze in appointments or run an errand in between which is nice um I like that a lot and I absolutely love that it's very client-centered it's one-on-one -on -one. I feel like my brain works more if that makes sense um because I really work hard to really problem solve and figure out what is best for the patient um so that's what I really like about that and cons of course documentation is always tough I feel like that's any job setting wherever you are um the only pro uh, cons with that i mean is that i mean everybody's different but i feel there's a little bit more paperwork involved um and as for an assistant i know it's not as much as an r um i know they have a lot more to do but for me i mean i personally do my notes at home at night when the baby goes to bed and this way i have some free time i just kind of chill there with my tablet or my laptop and i just bang on all, all my notes right before bed um, so it's that. Um, another thing too is sometimes you do some work um, at home, 
like off the clock almost because you get paid per visit and some companies offer mileage stipends so versus the whole hourly thing it's per visit so unfortunately there is some work from home and work they don't get paid for such as phone calls to the doctors phone calls to order equipment you know like it's a it's a busy kind of setting um so that's really just to sum it up some basic pros and cons of the two settings um i mean they're both they both can be tough and draining um i just feel that home health was a different level of stressful versus the sniff if that makes sense um you know i'm not doing crazy heavy lifting in a patient's home um i feel like the treatments are a lot more i don't want to say easier but um a lot more custom i guess and not as strenuous best word not as strenuous versus a sniff setting where you know there's a lot more lifting and you know i don't know climbing things if <laughs> you had to ever um so that's that um off the top of my head some of the few basic pros and cons of sniff setting versus home health um feel free to ask me any questions of what other things I might feel is better in one setting versus the other. Um, but yeah, maybe you'll kind of make you think about, you know, if you're ever considering home health or considering a sniff setting, um, especially with the changes coming. But it's just, you know, what I feel was a good pro pros and cons of the two. Um, I personally love home health and I love how client-centered it is. I love how it how makes my brain work and you know I feel like I'm still keeping up with my skill set and challenging myself a little bit better and I love that because I don't want to be kind of dumbing myself down because I felt like that after a while. But However, the sniff setting definitely built my skills as well because I was exposed to a lot of different things and it did make me work harder as well but it's just on a different level. Um, so it's really up to preference. Um, that's all I can think of at the moment. Mm -hmm. But yeah, feel free to ask me questions. And that's that. <laughs>